Hello everyone and Merry Christmas Eve! Now I've decided to do this little Christmas market map in order to share some of my Christmas spirit with you all, so I hope you'll enjoy it. And in today's video, we're gonna cover Branching Quest, which is, if you don't know exactly what it is, we're talking here about when you start a quest, and then you're provided options on how you want to end all this quest, or another NPC comes along and offers you a counter offer instead of helping this person, you shall help him instead. And so this is when branching quest hunters, and we're gonna review the best way to handle those so that it will keep and make your things a lot simpler. Well, let's get started. Alright, so for today's video, what I decided to do was something super simple, which is that we have two stands owner. We have the little lady over here and the old man over there. And both of those people are gonna want their reindeer to come to their stand so that their stand might win a contest or whatever it is that you want to implement. I don't really care. Now, this is gonna be a branching quest where you can start the quest with this lady first, which is gonna request you to go pick up that reindeer and bring it back to her. And as soon as you start that quest, you're gonna unlock the possibility to go talk to that man as well, which is gonna have overheard the conversation and will offer you more money in order to bring him back to reindeer. All right, so what we're first gonna start is by implementing all the logic for our stand owner. So the first thing we're gonna really start is by offering the players the quest to go collect the reindeer for her and bring it back to her stand. So let me just fast forward this part for you since you already know how to do this, obviously. All right, so here she's gonna ask the players to bring back the reindeer to her stand because I will help her a lot. And of course you have the choice to say yes or no. And depending if you say yes or no, well, the, start is gonna, the quest is gonna start itself. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new variable to store that quest. Now, what I like to do for my quest variables is always start with capital Q and a column so that I can easily identify that this variable is made for quest and give it an appropriate name, which will be lady owner reindeer. So that's the lady owner reindeer quest. Now we're gonna, of course, increase the value by one because you know how I feel about setting the value on variables for quest. It's a terrible idea and you know why if you saw my previous tutorial video on quests. Now what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna copy an event page and what this page is gonna do is that, of course, we're gonna, if the variable is bigger uh, or equal to one for the lady owner reindeer, then we're simply gonna have a placeholder text that will tell the players well please hurry. Now we're gonna also need a third page where if the value is equal or bigger to two, this is when the reindeer has been collected. And so this is where um, the NPC is gonna give a player um, their rewards for bringing back to her. Right, so we're gonna give the players their reward and of course, we're also going to increase the value of the lady owner reindeer quest by one once again, which is going to bring us to the final page where the lady is like, well, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And that's pretty much it. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to implement the logic for the old guy. And we're also going to consider the fact that if the players accept the counter offer from this old man, we're gonna need to affect the first quest where the players are helping the lady since they already made a deal with this guy. So what we're gonna do is the basic page, then we're gonna have a second page, which is if the variable of the old owner reindeer is bigger or equal to one, and I forgot to copy paste. That's the reason why I always copy paste my pages instead of creating a new one is that I can save time and don't have to pick up the same image again. By the way, if you didn't figure that out already. All right, so now what we're gonna do is um, okay, so now he's gonna offer the counter, uh, the players to bring back the reindeer. All right, so now here's where it gets interesting. This is where the players will have the choice, okay, do I want to help this guy or do I want to help the lady? And this is where also the choice will really matter from a programming standpoint. Because if the characters makes the deal with this guy, they can no longer help the lady 
to do that quest. And so what we're going to do is that we're going to need to affect the variable. And this is where I'm going to break my golden rule. Now, we don't necessarily know where the lady owner reindeer quest or step will be had and honestly i don't mind what's is the what's the uh, value of the variable in it because if they decline or fail the quest and at this point we're gonna set the constant value i know shocking i told you so much never to do that but this is for a good reason we're gonna drop it to minus one because that that's the status of a declined or failed quest from the player's part now, if they failed it or they refused or they say that they don't want to help her anymore, we're going to set it to minus one. And the reason to that is so that this is the default page, which has no conditions at all whatsoever. And we're going to change this. I'm first going to copy and paste it and set it to the variable condition that if the lady owner reindeer quest value is bigger or equal to zero, which is basically the starting point of any variables inside RPG Maker MC. And now the first page itself has no condition. So if you don't understand what it means, it means that this is the default page from the beginning. And should the players decline to help her and make the deal with the other guy, then this is the page that's going to take effect. And so she'll be like, I thought I could trust you. Well, apparently she was wrong. And so that's pretty much it. You start the quest, you activate the branching at the same time so that the proposition from the other NPC will be there the next time the character will talk to him. And if they decide to help the other NPC instead of the first one, then the first path of that branching quest itself will be set to minus one. And so whenever they come back to talk with her, she'll be like, I thought I could trust you. And she can also refuse to sell them uh, items anymore and stuff like that. And so now should the players itself decline to help the guy here then we're gonna do the exact opposite which means that we're gonna take the old owner reindeer quest and we're gonna set it to minus one and the same old process gonna repeat itself so that means that copy paste the first page if the variable for the old old the old owner reindeer is bitter equal to zero it's gonna tell us hello and probably sell us some items otherwise he'll be mad and tell us to get out of there so he's like, I won't sell you any more of my stuff. Now get out because he's pissed because you refused to help him. Now, should we accept to help him? Of course, we're going to increase the value of the old owner reindeer and it just becomes like any other quest. So I'm going to make a new page with a new dialogue that hurry up. And then I'm going to also have another page where it's going to give us a reward. And finally, we're going to have the final page where it just thanks us again to help them. All right, now the only thing left to reconfigure is the reindeer. We're going to make him a simple collectible item. So if you interact with him, you got the reindeer. And somehow he ends up in your bag. <laughs> I always love this logic inside video games. But it's just good laziness. Anyway. If you wanted, you could have him set to a new route where he was always going to follow the player. But it's really up to you how you would like to end all this. I'm just going to keep it simple here. So we're going to collect the reindeer. We're going to activate the self switch A, which is going to make him disappear. But we're also going to have two conditional branch here. The first one is if the first quest to bring the back the reindeer to the lady is not equal to minus one. And the second condition is if the second quest to bring it back to the old guy is not equal itself to minus one. And what we're going to do is that we're going to increment those values by one if the condition is respected. So if the players did not decline that quest, we're going to increment by one the quest value. And that's pretty much it. All right. Now, all that's left to be done is to test all of this. All right, so let's test this and see how it goes. So first, we're going to talk with the old man, which is going to tell us hello. So we're going to talk with the lady now. She's going to give us the quest. Let's say I don't want to help her. She's going to tell me that's too bad and nothing happened. So if I talk to her again, she's still going to give me the possibility to accept the quest. All good so far. So if I accept the quest, then she's going to tell me to please hurry. And if I go back to talk to the old man, he's going to be like, hey, can you help me instead? And so I'm going to tell him no. If I talk to him, he's like, I won't sell you any more of my stuff. Now get up. Great. Now, if I talk with the lady, she's like, please hurry again. I'm going to 
collect the reindeer, try to bring him back to the Jai, but since we told him we won't help him, then he's still mad at us. And we also have the lady stand on her, that's so, uh, thank you so much, she gives us a reward, and she's happy, and is mad. Good, so the first path where we help the lady works perfectly. Now let's go with the second one, where we're gonna help the old guy instead. So once again, still says hello, gonna tell him the quest, please Ari, we're gonna help him instead. Yes, so please Ari, gonna talk to her. She thought she could trust us, but apparently she's wrong. Gonna collect the reindeer. She sh still should not be able to collect to trust us. Yep, cannot trust us at all. And then the guy is gonna give us a reward, which is twice the amount of gold that she would have given us. That's cool. And then he's happy. So while this guy is happy, that one is disappointed. Great. So the branching quest works wonderful. Alright, that's already it for today's video. Make sure to like, subscribe for more content. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below inside the comment section. And as always, I'll see you later for a new video. And Merry Christmas to you all. Bye. Goodbye.